Welcome back to my closet. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? I miss you. I really do. I miss you. I'm not going to say what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it. So when I see you, I see you. I hope you care. I still care. Not in my closet right now. We are in my living room. We have a couple things coming up. A lookbook. I did a shoot. We didn't get any video footage, which sucks. So I'm just going to post some pictures of some fall looks for my next fall lookbook. Hopefully you guys like it. I have two videos I have to do. One is this hair. It's the Princess Hair Shop hair. But first, I want to do some shoes. I want to do my shoes. Shoes. Shoes are something that you need. They need to be nice and they need to be current it's something that I base my outfit off of. when I have an event or somewhere to go the first thing I think of what am I gonna wear but what shoes am I gonna wear do I feel like wearing a platform do I feel like wearing a stiletto do I feel like wearing closed toe I base it off of where I'm going what time of day it is is it hot or cold is the Sun gonna be out or not from there then I go to what shoe am I gonna wear I'm not gonna say I totally think of my shoe first, but I kind of do actually. It goes off the feeling. I could feel like I need to wear a cotton dress of some sort. And then I kind of go off, well, what shoe goes with that? Five pairs of shoes. Some of them are boring, like everyday wear. Some of them are going out. So this is gonna be a shoe haul. For one, yes, everybody needs shoes. For two, you don't have to spend all that on shoes to get the look. If there are a pair of nice designer shoes that you like, the first thing I think of Who's gonna make the best inspired by a shoe? I don't care how much you spent on them, $8,000 or even $2,000. The fact of the matter is you're gonna get over them one day. When I first started my blog, it was all about BB and BB this and the Kardashian brand and this and that and this and that. And then right after that, it got real scary up in there. Stretchy, club gear, they lost their classic cuts, they lost their good fabrics, they lost their shoes. They lost everything to me. BB fell all the way off. Now all that old stuff is coming back and we can actually shop in there now. <laughs> get that old thing back. Thank God. Let me just start with the first pair of shoes. Love these boots. They zip right here. I like that it's only on one side of the shoe and the other side is plain. It doesn't take over the whole shoe. It has a pointy tip. There is no platform. Suede on the bottom, leather on the top half. They have that fold over action. They look good with anything. I wore them with shorts when I first got them. I haven't worn them with a dress, but I tried it on with a dress and it looks really, really good. I've only worn these shoes about two times. I got them a month ago. I want to say these are $198. They might have been $169. There's gold on them, but they're kind of like an in-between metal, so you can definitely wear them with silver. Really, really good job with these boots. They're so, so cute. They're kind of like the slouchy hipster running around town. They're not the most comfortable shoe to wear. They're not uncomfortable. They're just at a steep. You can't tell. They're actually pretty high for not having any platform. So your foot is kind of like this, but they're not uncomfortable. They're just something you're not going to like run a marathon in. I'm going to get a lot of use out of them this fall and winter. The next one, don't get scared. They look like chains. When I saw them online, I thought they were chains. When I went to actually buy them in the store, they're kind of like a little Swarovski crystal. I like that this part is enclosed. It's like a booty. It makes it more fall and more winter. And I'm going to tell you, I would never wear this boot without a sock. It looks so good with a black sock. It makes it look so much more expensive, so much more exclusive, so much more like, where the heck did you get that? These are inspired by the Giuseppe Zanottis. They were made a while ago, but the Giuseppe's were actually a chain. They weren't covered in the back. They were more of like a sandal style heel. These I love because they're like the Giuseppe Zanotti meets fall, winter, and I love that. I love boots. These are open toed, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and I promise you, they look so good with a black sock. You can't even tell you're wearing a sock. It looks like it's just a whole booty. So it looks like a chained out booty. They're so dressy that I wanted to dress them down. So I wore them with some jean shorts. I had a flannel on and a tank top and boom all you needed. I got both of them and I also got another pair of boots that I ended up taking back. They were so hot. They were the freaking Tom Ford thigh high boots. Beyonce had a Tom Ford dress on and then some Tom Ford thigh high boots. So they were inspired by those and they looked almost identical except the fabric. Obviously, there's a reason why those are $269 and then the Tom Fords are, I don't even know how much they are. The fabric, there's a reason. So some things you have to be careful about. I did buy them at first, like so excited. Yay, I have some Tom Ford boots. 
um, not the right fabric. Next, let's go into Zara. There's so many shoes that they have right now. And I just got these classic stilettos. I mean, they are so hot, closed toed. The good thing about these, the cut, that screams designer. You don't really see too much of that right now, unless they're designer. They might have it where it cuts off on this side, or it has a cutout right here, or it's higher here. These are really, really low cut, very pointed, and they're a higher heel. This screams designer. So freaking good. Now keep in mind, I have shoes like this. I have a couple pairs of shoes like this, but I don't have any that are cut like this. Nothing has really came out like this. Nobody had this yet, and I was dying for this. I felt like every little pointy shoe that was almost there, but it wasn't there. These are there. I saw these. Can I have these? Do you guys have these? What other colors do you have these in? I would have bought them in nude if they had them. They only came in black. I'm praying that they come in nude because I will get them. They are not comfortable. I repeat, they are not comfortable, but they're worth it. This is a shoe that goes with everything. Boom. It's classic. It's elegant. It lets everything else speak for themselves. It's ladylike. It's feminine. It's just so beautiful. This is something that won't go out. Styles do change. This is classic. Minor things will change, but pretty much this shoe will always be good. These are $99 and they're so worth it. Everybody trust me on this. See that? See that cut? Everybody needs a pair. So then I went to Steve Madden. They had like a big blowout sale. I went so crazy that I bought like seven pairs of shoes. Probably shouldn't have did that. I ended up taking back two of the pair. I got these boots. I have elastic in the back. I'm going to put it on there. They're just flat boots, knee-high suede. I have been looking so hard for these. I was so excited. It was 120 degrees outside, and I'm buying these boots. I don't care what time of day it is. I needed these boots, and I've been wanting these for so long. I'm going to rock the heck out of these this winter. Why do I know that? Because I've been rocking the heck out of them this summer. And my boyfriend is mad at me. He's like, it is 110 degrees outside, and you're wearing knee-high boots. I don't care. I do it for the look. If you're wearing short shorts, Boom, with some socks. Guess how much I got them for? I got them 70% off of the sale price. Got these for like $35 or $39. They're normally like $170 or they are real suede and real leather. Such a good buy. I'll wear them all throughout the winter. Don't be surprised if you see me wear them all the freaking time because I will. And they might still have them at another store or online. They might not be 70% off. Got another pair of boots on sale. They're from a Steven line, so they're a little bit higher up. They're such good quality. It's a really nice leather. They're brown, the cowboy kind of look. I think I paid $33 for them and they're normally like $250. I got them in a size smaller than I normally wear. Always ask to try it on though, especially since this is the Steven brand. Plus boots, they always fit so weird, especially with flat boots. I like to get them a little bit bigger because they're flat. You want to be comfortable like corns on your feet for a flat boot. No, it doesn't make sense. You're not going to sacrifice your feet in a flat. Why? <laughs> or would you? I wouldn't. That's just not worth it. Not going to sacrifice my foot in a daily shoe in a flat. When they said they only had a six, I was like, let me try those on. I tried these on and they fit. They fit. Got these also from Steve Madden. They're so cute. They're just like a little booty. They buckle. It's cut out in the back. So it's kind of like night sandal booty. You can wear them in the summer. They're platform. Platform's not really in right now. It's not. I mean, it's not like the trend. But they're never out either. Keeping that foot flat on the ground. So all in all, you guys, each shoe has a reason to be in my closet. If you guys have any questions about the shoes, I'll try to put everything down below. But anything that you want to know or where to find them, if you can't find them, comment down below. I'll be sure to check back in with you guys. That's another thing. I've been really bad about my comments, especially on Instagram. Somebody told me today, they're like, you never comment back like the famous people. Hit home. I really am sorry. For one, I'm not famous. For two, it's rude not to comment back. Doing this, doing that, and I, I really apologize because I used to be way better at commenting back. And same with YouTube. That goes for here too. So I am going to really, really work on that. I don't really look at my feed too much, but still, thank you guys so much.